But um, over the weekend, this would have been either Thursday or Friday, the Steelers also made an official hire to the quarterback room, man. Official quarterbacks coach of the Pittsburgh Steelers is Mike Sullivan. And no, it's not the Pittsburgh Penguins head coach. I know y'all were thinking that. We're going to talk about them a little while, too. <laughs> but Mike Sullivan, man, this is the uh, the the former QB coach for the Giants. Um, 16 years NFL coaching experience. A little bit of background on him. He was uh, most recently with the Broncos in 2018 as their QB's coach. But from then, let's see, uh, from 04 to essentially 17 time frame, he was with the Giants, a large portion of that as their wide receivers coach, QB's coach, offensive coordinator time frame, won a Super Bowl, won two Super Bowls with them, excuse me. Um, and then obviously he was with the Bucks as an OC for one season, the 12, the 13 season as well. But um, ton of experience under his belt. Obviously, like I said, man, worked with some higher end uh, quarterbacks and stuff like that. In terms of my thoughts initially on it, I'm not gonna lie, I kind of felt I, it made me feel more so like Ben would definitely be back with this hire because of his relationship in terms of Sullivan being with Eli Manning, right? A, a guy who was towards the end of it, obviously, but still, you know, was trying to make sure he could be as productive as he could. It just reminds me of a similar scenario here. I'm like, all right, we do feel like Ben is going to be back next year. I don't think that this is the guy that's going to push the envelope, kind of like how Matt Canada being the OC is going to push the envelope compared to what we're used to. I don't think that the Sullivan hiring is going to be that, but I do love his experience. I, I do think that that's going to pay dividends in terms of the development of the other guys, in terms of your Mason Rudolph, your Dwayne Haskins, and whoever else they bring in. But yeah, just as a whole, I, I, I don't know. I just, yeah, it, it didn't really excite me per se, but I, I do, I do like it if that makes sense okay it's like, it's like i don't hate it you know what i mean i understand the the hiring i get that part but you know it just wasn't the crazy splash yeah it's nothing that really woke me up or got me right, to right. dig any deeper into it whenever i saw it it was just okay we hired yeah. a qb coach i'm not really thinking much of it and honestly what's crazy is probably throughout my whole life outside of these past couple years mm -hmm. recording this podcast any of these hires yeah i don't even pay attention to you mm -hmm. remember last year whenever we hired yeah, yeah. matt Cannon? i was like i don't really give a shit to be honest <laughs> with you now i'm paying a little bit more and more yeah. attention to these hires and what they mean and whatnot because you've broken down a lot mm -hmm. of the ins and the outs with organization so it is a lot more interesting yeah. to me now so with this one though, I'm almost resorting back to my old self. It's just yeah. like I don't really care. But like you could you could paint it like, oh man, he's with the Giants, little mm -hmm. championship pedigree, the experience you mentioned. Yeah. At the same time, it's like, what's this dude gonna do? I don't know. Well, and like I said, this is what makes me feel like Ben is coming back. Which right? I'm good with then. If you're gonna if right. that's how you're gonna frame it, I'm I'm perfectly good with but that. But the only reason why I said it makes it feel like that is because and I don't know if we talked about this or not, but having a conversation with Air Boucher, right? We talked about him, man. I mean, he's you know, very much connected with the organization in terms of the conversations that he has with Mr. Rooney's and things like that. And having conversations with him, and this was stuff that we did on you know a couple of my other uh, shows and stuff like that, he talked about how it's not a guarantee that Ben is coming back right now. Even though Ben said he wants to when he talked about the contract stuff, he said that it's still not even a guarantee yet that the Steelers are going to make the deal work from their end either. Now, they're going to have these conversations supposed to be starting this week, yep. so we can hear a lot more about that, but hearing him say that i'm like man that really changed how i looked at this thing so now I'm, the other side when i play devil's advocate i'm like one part of me is like well yeah you get this hire safe pick you know he's already handled a situation like this cool you got the stability all right i got you but then the other side is i'm like well maybe they're doing this because they're saying to themselves we're going to need a, a very experienced guy to groom whoever is our guy next year if it's somebody through the draft if it's somebody through free agency or if it's a, a Rudolph for Haskins situation, you want to have somebody in here that's going to really develop these guys. So that was the other side. I'm like, I ain't like thinking like that as much, though. <laughs> so I'm going to go back to the Big Ben one. <laughs> but you see how I was like, I, I, I can see it because I'm like, in a normal offseason, if we know you have been quarterback coach doesn't really matter, right? The experience of the quarterback coach doesn't matter, which is why when they hired Canada, it was like, Cool, but we know Ben's going to do what Ben does. He doesn't need you to pat him on the back and tell him good throw. He knows this. But now you're bringing in Sullivan. I'm like, that, that, that's that's a pedigree guy. That, that's a, a longevity guy. What, what are you trying to say here? Are you saying we're going to need somebody who can really coach their tail off at quarterback coach? That, is that what you say? I don't want that. Because <laughs> that lets me know that we, we might have a, a, a situation on our hands here, you know? <laughs> man, you're really hitting this from all angles here. I just want to mess with you a little bit, man. <laughs> 
I'm not flustered today. <laughs> it's the new cut. You just swoop. Are you? Think. It's the aerodynamicness on the sides, I, I bro. I think so. I think so. <laughs> But yeah, I was like, I could see that, but hopefully we'll get some news, you know, some positive news as it pertains to the contract, man. Um, the Steelers off season is going to be booming, huh? I mean, dude, think about this. Their last game was what, three, four weeks ago now? And we've had major news every week since then, man. Yeah. Major news every week. It's crazy. And they haven't even got to the player side of it yet when they're starting to, okay, we're going to cut this guy, restructure yeah, this the, guy, the extend that guy. things haven't even happened yet. Right. Like, it's, it's nuts right now, man. So... It's going to be These fun. These next couple weeks are yeah. going to be crazy. And then it, that's going to lead right into free agency. Yeah. Though. And then we'll probably do some mock drafts or a little Absolutely, draft man. stuff around March, too. So we're yeah. going to be good. Oh, oh man. Compared to last year, this is. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just thanking the content gods. Thank you. Appreciate you. <laughs>